Hello everybody, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty Oxbow map. My name is Axfield and today I'm going to go into the last episode for this series. So I am going to continue with the same game once the new updates arrive. So they do have a lot of updates planned for the game still going forward. Uh, so then I will just continue with the current town and city that I'm doing now. And uh, if you are new here and you would like to follow the series, uh, or go back onto it uh, just please do remember to press the like and subscribe button as well as the bell notification and uh, I'm also doing other city building games survival games and so forth and giving you tips and advice on how to progress through your games so within the previous episode I got my mule my trusty steed and I've also built a corral here I've decided to go with the wattle uh, gate over here it's not ideal but it's definitely better looking than the big bulky uh, log gates that we've got but uh, I'm gonna just show you what I did here off screen so um, I've added a new house on this side let me just go through so to this side you can see the town shaping up pretty nicely so I've added this house over here it's got a nice like wooden foundation a little bit elevated uh, but I kind of like it and we've got one lady that already moved in here so, um, but today I want to focus on doing some decorations. I still want to get another guy to move in here. So I'm going to go to the town of Stoya uh, just to get someone else to move in here. And I've got the sewing hut that I'm going to place here. So this corner here close to the waterfall is pretty much like my production area or like the town central, if you could call it that. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to place the sewing hut over here. I think it's a nice spot. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So we can do some decorative items also in between. But I want to mainly focus on just decorating up my town. Um, I did craft some copper hammers um, while I was off screen. So I'm going to sell that in Astoya. And uh, then I'm going to use the money uh, that I got. I'm going to use it to unlock some more decorative uh, technology and so on. And uh, ooh, my guy really needs to eat and drink something. And he's also smelling a little bit. But uh, we'll sort that out pretty soon. But uh, you can see that the, the donkey does run faster as you would have done like with on foot. But it's still much, much slower than your horse. But uh, it makes a massive difference. Uh, I feel like I don't have to skip through the whole running process going from town to town. Now that I've got the donkey. Um, so yeah, it, it does help a little bit. So we've already arrived here to the town Astoya. So... Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice, <laughs> just getting to town quickly. I did mention in my previous episodes that it would be really awesome um, to have your own wagon here. Um, but I, I don't, I'm not sure if the developers would go for that, because that will also kind of defeat the purpose then for your own um, horse or donkey. You know, then you will neglect uh, that side again, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they'll bring it in, hopefully. Alright, I just needed to clean myself, <laughs> just running into this lake or dam, and uh, I'm definitely going to need to eat something. So I'm looking for a guy, we've got two guys here, and I'm looking for one that's got either good with extraction or farming, and uh, looks like they both got three extraction and two farming, so I can choose either one. Uh, what I would do is I would go for the youngest guy, always a better choice. Okay, this guy is nine years younger, that's a good thing. Alrighty, what's your name? Gandalf, I almost thought it's Gandalf. <laughs> that would have been funny. Alright, but uh, let's just uh, slot Gandalf in here. Here we go. Okay, so... Right, so I want to get another person that's that can do some extraction. Uh, I've got two miners here already. Oh, they're pretty good. Okay, never mind that. Okay, I'm going to leave Gandalf out because I'm going to have to soon build another wooden shed. So I think I'm going to leave him for that. And the seamster, it's the new lady I'm going to slot in here. Oops. No, no, no. That's not what I want to do. Um, wait, let me just go. Where is this lady now? Okay, Wiltruda. Okay, so Wiltruda I'm going to slot into the sewing hut. There we go. Alright, Gandalf can just take a chill pill for now. I'm gonna leave him there. He can just enjoy the scenery and enjoy the town. But uh, I'm gonna let 
will Truda start um, crafting some things for me. So I'm going to let her craft some sample bags. And uh, I think let's just go for two a day for now. All right. And uh, I've still got to unlock all those linen stuff. Uh, so let's just go here to the technology sewing hut. Need a linen thread, a bag, linen fabric. That's going to come in handy. All right. That's fine. Uh, that's the only things that I am going to craft at the sewing hut. Uh, so let's just go back here. Right. Okay, so the linen thread, I want that to be the most, of course. And then we're going to do the linen fabric. And I want to definitely do some bags as well. Let's maybe go for eight. And we can push this up to maybe two. Or maybe three or four. <laughs> oh man okay let's do four and uh the rest we can use for the back there we go that should be fine all right so i just want to go to one of these uh, vendors over here oh, i should maybe take my donkey i haven't got uh, the skill yet to whistle for the donkey to come so i've got to just make sure that the donkey stays close to me so yeah let's just head out to the the vendors over here They're not far from here So we've got a seamster and a farmer here on this side that we can trade with. But uh, I think I'm going to just head out to the farmer. I need some food. <laughs> so I'm going to just trade with her and grab something to eat as well. Alright, so let's see what we can trade. Uh, I crafted all the copper hammers, so I might as well just trade all of that. Uh, there is something else I wanted to trade. The mead and the oat beer. Definitely, yeah. Let's just do that. And oh, the rye beer we can also sell. That's perfect. And wheat beer. Here we go. Oh, she doesn't have any money. Okay. <laughs> um, do do do. Let's just take some. What gives the most food? I think the cabbage. Let's just grab a few pieces of cabbage. Here we go. I pretty much took all the money. All right, here we go. Okay, so I've got a little bit of extra money. So if I want to research some extra decorative items, I can do that. And uh, also, yeah, by Astoria, you this is where you can find your uh, sheep. So yeah, just to keep that in mind. Once you want to start with your sheep farming, you've got to ideally. Um, I think you must make sure that you've got enough animal feed that you're producing. Uh, that just makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, to manage your animals uh, your animals won't die if you don't have the animal feed okay so but the production is tremendously slowed down if you don't have the animal feed so it does make a massive difference with your production i know there was like a bandit camp here somewhere it spawns in here by this little river over here sometimes i think it's this spot over here there we go you can see there's a little open space there so I think that there's a bandit camp that sometimes spawns there. Oh, I've got to go to this side. So they don't fall down this waterfall. I don't know how much fall damage a donkey can actually handle. So I want to try and keep it safe. Relatively. Oops. Okay, see just from that little fall. The donkey took quite a hit. So... Yeah, I want to try and avoid that in the future. Okay, perfect. So we've got the new guy that is going to move in here with the lady, Wiltruda. And you can see I've already got a planter box that I've placed here. As well as a wooden shutter. Very nice. And you can open them as well. So there you go. Looks very cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, we want some nice and bright flowers. I kind of like the chicory. Yeah, let's go for that. And uh, let's do the same on the other side. Why not? So we're going to get the wooden shutter. That's the one that I've got unlocked so far. And I've got the large wooden planter. Definitely looks better than the small one. And uh, I'm going to also do the chicory there. But look how nice that looks. Pretty much picture perfect. 
Kind of reminds me of Ireland. Like they also do these planter boxes everywhere by the windows and by the buildings. They've got these petunia plants. Looks really nice. So if you've got an overcast day, it does brighten up the place. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna... I need some extra fur. I think I've got fur in storage. So I'm gonna just go ahead and maybe unlock the goat fur here as well. Uh, I'm gonna collect the fur now there from storage. Let's just see what we can build here additionally. Wooden double shelf. Braced wooden double shelf. Okay, I don't have the technology for that one yet. So I can do a braced wooden shelf. Uh, and I've got the hanging rack. I've got the deer trophy. What else can I do here? Okay, that those things are going to take long to still research. Linen thread. Oh, wow. You need eight linen thread for these things. That's insane. Looks very nice, but I mean... Yeah, that's going to take a whole lot of linen thread to build these things. You know what? Maybe I should just go ahead and get that. I must maybe craft my own linen thread. Uh, that will go pretty quick in any case. So I'm just going to unlock the flower Emily. Emily? Emily? <laughs> How you pronounce that? Alright. And uh, let's just maybe do one in this little house over here. I want to also get some furs. Which we can use to place in the houses. Okay, so we're going to need the flax stalk. So I'm going to just take a whole bunch of this. To craft some linen threads. And uh, we've got a good amount of fur. I'll just maybe take all of that. There we go. I uh, just want to place some of the raw items in here. So, so that they can use it for crafting whatever. Feathers. Uh, fertilizer. Firewood. Yes. Fishing spears. Okay. Cool. I think that's fine for now. Alright. So I can... Do the linen thread here. Sorry, lady. Ultruda. I'm gonna just squeeze in here. Or oh, is it this side? Oh, this side. Sorry. There we go. Got 20 linen threads that I can produce from 100. So it takes 5 flax stalk to make one linen, th linen thread. Uh, just the FYI. Alright, so let's go place that flower Emily Emily there we go that's pretty cool yeah I think I should just change in all the houses I should put that up it will just color it up a little bit nicer all right let's see if we can place a nice rug in here uh, the goat does look nice and let's maybe do one ball over here just for now i'm gonna go with that yeah there we go i'm gonna leave that like so for now and uh let's maybe add some dub over here just for the front and there we go see how nice that looks already so you'll see they get a they're going to get a massive happiness boost here just from this so, um, I'm going to come back a little bit later and then we can check on the happiness again. Alright, so these guys, let me just see here. Oh, they need a bag. Okay, well, you know what? I did craft some linen threads. Let's maybe do six linen fabrics. And uh, I think I should just make a few bags quickly. I'm not going to place the simple bags in there. They just break too quickly, so... I'm going to just supply the guys with the, the big bags, or the normal bags. There we go. Okay, so we can make six of those. Perfect. Alright, great. Okay, let me just slot this into the resource storage. Perfect. I just want to see what decorative items we can do here by the sewing hut. Workstation. 
laundry workstation. Let's see what we can build here. Oh, we can do a clothesline. Oh, not yet. Oh, man. I don't have the research point yet. Very close, though, to unlocking all of these. But, uh, okay, never mind. I'll do that on a later stage. So what I do want to do... So I want to fence out, like, a, a front yard for one of these houses. You can see I've got a nice road, which would pretty much be, like, the main road of the town going through here. And I'm going to make, like, a little camping site or whatever you call it. I'm going to just place it over here. Oh, man. I've just got too little money to unlock these benches. What have I got? Uh... I can only do these stumps. So I'm gonna only let I'm gonna leave that for now as well. So my intention is to build like a little spot where the people can sit by the fire. And I'm gonna build a palisade wall. Let's see, I don't know if I've got that unlocked yet. Uh not yet. Alright. So this is the palisade wall. I'm gonna bring this around from here. It's gonna go all the way around. And it's gonna go right up against the cliff. And I'm gonna finish it there. And uh, then we're going to also head towards this side. I want to make like a gate for the city on both sides. Uh, they're close to the bridge and then also coming into the town from this side. So I've got to determine how far I want to take the town up. So I think if I bring it all the way to run about here, I think this should be fine. So let's just see. Uh, I want to do like an archway. Uh, is it in here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I want to do like a simple log gateway. So, fortunately, it does fit over the main road. All the other buildings that you build, it doesn't work when you try to build over the roads. Uh, they just tell you that it's obstructed. So, at least the arch, it does work. Just want to get it centered here. There, ooh, there we go. Add it there. That's it. Perfect. Alright, so that's going to look pretty cool. Once we've got a wall that goes all the way to, I would say, run about here. And then going all the way around towards the river and all the way around there. It's going to look very neat. And uh, once I've got the lanterns unlocked, I'm going to definitely place the lanterns here on the outside as well. So, I'm, I'm pretty far away from unlocking the lanterns but that's fine uh, what I can do is maybe the standing fire bowls that looks a little bit better than the standing torches so we can maybe unlock that one so what I want to do now is I want to just maybe go to one of the homes that we've got there on the main road and I want to do the little yard I've got plenty of sticks so I can do maybe like a wattle fence let me just first maybe start with the gate Oh, sorry. The best ones are always taken. So I'm going to just bring this around. I'm going to just do like a front yard. Let's try and keep it straight. Here we go. Just like so. And... The... We can do the same on this side. What do you have there? Do you really need all these stones on you? The people are always complaining about me carrying all the stuff. <laughs> Here we go. Alrighty. Oops. Oh, come on. Come on. These guys are just blocking the way everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Okay, perfect. So we've got like a little yard here sorted out. Um, these guys are so much in the way now. Just going to do a little pathway here. All the way to the road. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's see what decorative items we can place here. 
So I still want to do the terrace here. Sorry, the trellis. I've just got that 10 coin short, man. That would have looked very nice now. So I can do the wooden flower pot. That's maybe a good idea to place it here by the wooden house. So let's maybe do two small wooden pots over here. And I think we can place uh, daisies in it. Here we go. It's already looking much nicer. <laughs> okay, let's just also do the same here. We can do a planter by the window. And we can also place the shutter over there. I think that's something I can definitely do for all the houses. I'll just do as much as I can with the the planks and logs that I've got currently. Okay, that's pretty much it for now. <laughs> Until I get some more planks and logs, but uh, yeah. Let's see what flower we can put in here. Let's mix it up a bit. Uh, dandelions. Let's do the dandelions there. And uh, let's maybe do something else over here. Canebane. Uh, St. John's Wart. Thistle. Yeah, let's do the thistle. That looks pretty cool. Right. And let's do the St. John's Wart over here. Like so. Very nice. It's getting pretty dark, so I think I'm going to just go take a sleep. Uh, the season's also going to change now, once I go to sleep, but that's fine. I'm quite curious to see how it's going to look in any ways now, going into autumn with the new town layout. I really love autumn so in in reality autumn is my favorite season uh everything looks so nice uh, i like the colors and the weather is not too cold but it's also cold enough so that you can sleep well and eat well <laughs> okay so these flowers are still kind of alive in autumn time i like that oh that's cool so it still looks like there's something in there But in any case, guys, that was all I wanted to do for this today's episode. It's a short one, but uh, I will continue uh, with the same town and with the same map uh, once we get the new update. And uh, But yeah, it's it's looking pretty cool. I'm happy with what I've done so far. And uh, But I want to thank you guys also for following the series and I uh, really appreciate it. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. But uh I'm going to see you once the next update comes out. And uh, please do check out the other games that I play. If you like any building games and city builder games similar to this, uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. But thank you for watching, and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.